Hello guys, good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest weather analysis for this Tuesday through Thursday, November 7 to 9, 2023 and this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur. And before we begin with our update, I would like to again uh, uh, promote this uh, Climate Action Center by Comunidad. You're, if you're willing to uh, have your own Climate Action Center, LGUs or uh, any big companies out there, just visit uh, our website typhoon2000.ph and uh, you can see the banner of Comunidad and if you're willing to uh, uh, know more about the uh, Climate Action Center just uh, contact Mr. Iron Cabasal at 0976-163-7245 or email him at iron.cabasal at comunidad.co or uh, just click on the banner and you will be forwarded to a uh, Google form for you to uh, submit for you to answer some questions and Mr. Iron Cabasa will be the one that will uh, uh, email you back or contact you once you submit your Google form. So that's the uh, Climate Action Center. It's a good tool f to fight uh, these uh, uh, climate related uh, systems that affects us okay, from time to time. And uh, let's start now with the uh, latest uh, uh, GraphSat, this is for today, Tuesday, until tomorrow, Wednesday. We have uh, a shallow low pressure area, 94W, which has been moving southwestward, approaching Dabao and uh, Soxagen regions. So expect uh, rainfall or strong thunderstorms to prevail overnight to uh, tomorrow, Wednesday. And the trough uh, is also affecting uh, Visayas. Uh, Sulu Archipelago and portions of the Bicol region so expect some uh, isolated scattered rain showers and thunderstorms as the, uh, the meanwhile the northeast monsoon will continue to prevail across extreme northern Luzon the eastern sections of uh, central and uh, northern the eastern sections of uh, central Luzon as well as some uh, areas of eastern Bicol region so there will be some winds of up to 50 kph and some passing uh, thunderstorms will also be expected particularly in the afternoon or evening now uh, we are uh, currently observing this other low pressure system 95w which has been here uh, during the weekend and it's still there quasi stationary but it is expected or forecast to move towards the west northwest uh, in the in the general direction of Western Micronesia so this slow moving system based on the uh, global typhoon models are now showing uh, that it will enter the Philippine area of responsibility uh, sometime November 14 okay and then it is expected or forecast to move towards Mindanao with a possible landfall over Karga region on November 16 to 17 but like I said this forecast is highly uncertain since it's uh, more than uh, five days it's around seven to ten days from now and the probability of that forecast remains at zero to twenty percent so it's still very low so we are going to observe this system until we enter the five-day uh, forecast and we will uh, have a clearer picture on where this LPA uh, will go but based on the forecast it might be a tropical storm or even a typhoon approaching uh, Mindanao or Visayas area so watch out for that we will keep you updated in the coming days and let's hope and pray it won't push through and if we take a look at the uh, fast animation, there we go. This is now the uh, uh, circulation of LPA 94W. It's uh, quite weak and it's not expected to uh, become a tropical cyclone, but it will uh, bring some 
heavy rainfall with thunderstorms across Dabo region and Soxygen and also other parts of Mindanao uh, through the next 24 hours while its trough will affect um, Visayas portions of the Bicol region and Sulu archipelago and here's uh, LPA 95W consolidating over to the south of Pompeii Island or southeast of Guam <coughs> and as we take a look now at the uh, zoom in satellite animation of windy.com you can clearly see here there are uh, very strong uh, lightning strikes uh, currently occurring over the uh, circulation of LPA 94W so expect heavy thunderstorms to be felt across Dabo region and Soxygen including Karaga within the next uh, 12 to 24 hours so please take all the precautions against possible flooding and landslides brought about by this uh, weak LPA or shallow LPA other parts of Luzon, Visayas will also have isolated rain showers and thunderstorms but it's more less frequent compared to the ones that I've mentioned okay here in Mindanao and as we take a look now at the uh, ensemble forecast of the uh, European model from uh, easterlywave.com here is now the uh, new update and it looks like there will be uh, a threat from Bicol region down to Mindanao so this is the area of the coverage of the ensemble so we are going to monitor closely the system some of the ensemble shows it as a typhoon moving either of Mindanao besides or Bicol region but it's still early to tell let's hope some recovery will uh, persist within the next uh, five to ten days and as we uh, take a look now at the uh, wind and pressure forecast courtesy of uh, windy.com this is for uh, i mean this is from the um, european model so by uh, tomorrow afternoon wednesday the uh, shallow lpa 94w is beginning to dissipate over mindanao as the northeast monsoon will uh, continue to prevail over uh, extreme northern and eastern Luzon, including Bicol region, while possible uh, easterlies will be expected over at the Visayas area. And here's LPA 95W to the south of Chuk Island. And on Thursday afternoon, the LPA remains there and broader. Okay, and uh, Friday. November 10, it's slowly consolidating, becoming an active low pressure area south of Guam. And on Saturday, November 11, it could become a tropical depression. So let's move forward until November 14 on the day that it is expected to enter the Philippine Air Responsibility. So this is uh, November 14, Tuesday, entering PAR, then Wednesday accelerating towards uh, eastern Mindanao and on uh, Thursday November 16 it will be approaching the coastal waters of uh, Davao and Karaga regions so that's the forecast from the European model the way it looks uh, it will it might based on the forecast it is likely to become a severe tropical storm or even a typhoon since uh, forecast models are conservative when it comes to the pressure and uh, the wind velocity of their forecast so we are going to keep an eye on this system and uh, if we uh, take a look at uh, the american model it's also a tropical depression here entering par november 14 wednesday approaching uh, northern Karaga and uh, eastern Visayas as a tropical storm and then on Thursday oops wait Thursday early morning until uh, 7 in the morning November 16 it is likely to traverse Visayas so it will pass over northern Karaga Visayas area and November 16 Thursday it will be in the vicinity of Cebu Bohol area and then in the afternoon of Thursday, since it's fast moving, 
it is expected to move or emerge over the Sulu archipelago and then in the afternoon or in the evening of uh, November 16 it will traverse Palawan so that's the uh, forecast up to 10 days so 9 to 10 days so the probability here is still highly uh, uh, and uncertain okay uh, very low uh, probability with uh, 0 to 20 percent chance so we will wait and see until we enter the uh, five-day forecast so until now let's hope and pray that this system will not push through or it will just move towards the north and uh, disappear so that's what we are hoping for this uh, tropical system so fox down there over the visayas and mindanao please uh, pay attention to this uh, low pressure system and we will be uh, bringing you another update come thursday so stay tuned for more details on that okay and for the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days expect uh, more isolated rain showers and thunderstorms across the eastern sections of luzon eastern sections of the Bicol region visayas sulu archipelago palawan some portions of Mimaropa and becoming more frequent over uh, Mindanao and Silu archipelago. So that's the uh, uh, rainfall that will be generated by the remnants of LPA 94W. And uh, that's it. That's the latest for this uh, Tuesday evening. And we will return this Thursday to give you the very latest on the uh, LPA 95W. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua saying... Good night to all. Stay safe always. We hashtag with a wise show. Let's all hope and pray that this system won't push through. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.